Hey, what's up guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A, Tab 7, even the Tab S5e. I'm going to show you how to screen mirror directly to your Hisense Roku TV wirelessly. Okay, so you can see here it's wireless. Now, the first thing to note too is this connection is a direct connection from your Tab to your Hisense Roku TV. The connection has nothing to do with your home Wi-Fi network. It's a Wi-Fi direct connection using Miracast. So again, you don't need to be connected to your home Wi-Fi network. However, if you're not connected to home Wi-Fi network, if your tablet doesn't have no internet, either from your home Wi-Fi network or your SIM card, then you're not going to be able to surf the internet. It's not going to be obviously be relayed onto the TV. Okay, so first thing is let me go ahead and show you how to connect. Go ahead and grab your tab and you, what you want to do is slide down the notifications. Slide down like that and then you see a little horizontal line here on the bottom, you want to slide this down again. And now what you want to do is look for Smart View, okay? Mine is right here. If yours is not right here, swipe to the left. Look all over here. You may even have like another page. I think my S5e has another page, okay? So anyway, look for Smart View. Mine is right here. Let's tap on Smart View right there. And then give it one second to find my Hisense, 40-inch uh, Hisense Roku TV screen mirror right there. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And then a message here pops down here, start casting with Smart View, tap on Start Now. And then give it one second and we should see like a message that will pop up on the TV here. There we go. You can always allow, if you always allow, then this message won't pop up every time you screen mirror your tab onto your Hisense Roku TV. But I'm just going to leave it on Allow. This way the message always pops up. All right, so give it here like one second, see what's happening right now. Just wait and voila, guys, we are in business. As you can see right here and give it a second that little thing on the bottom here turns off so this is great for um you know you can um show work documents you can show uh, uh vote photos and videos locally i mean you can even watch like youtube and whatnot on here so let me show you um let me show you some local photos and videos i have on here so here's my photos gallery and you can see photo here of course you can zoom in and out so you can see, and you can go ahead and move that. And now let me go ahead and show you a video here. I'll press play. Of course, the, vo the audio comes out of the TV, not from the tab itself, okay? And then if you want to go ahead and disconnect, simply just bring down notifications again. The horizontal line you see right here again, slide down again. Slide that down, and then wherever it says Smart View before, now it says the name of your TV that you're connected to. You can see mine right here says 40-inch uh, Hisense Roku TV. Let me just tap on this, and it's going to disconnect automatically. So give it a second, and voila. Pretty simple.